Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is the Microsoft Arc Touch Mouse. Now this is by no means a new product, but the reason I got this into test and review is because I recently picked up a Dell Inspiron 14Z Ultrabook and I wanted a sort of wireless touch sensitive mouse to actually test alongside that Ultrabook. So I thought I'd give the Microsoft one a go. This is what the packaging looks like and we can slide the mouse out like this. Let's just have a look around the back of the packaging, just a little bit of information, nothing specific on there. But the actual way this is presented is really nice and I'm liking the look of the mouse so far. I've had this out already to actually test. This is what the mouse looks like. We'll pop this to one side. They do get batteries supplied. It runs off of two AAA batteries. Underneath here, we also get some extra information. Let's show you what you get inside the box and you get a start here quick start guide and this is going to guide you through getting everything up and running with the mouse you can see here where you put the batteries and you can see here you get a nano receiver actually included with the device all good stuff and then we've also got some product guide information and that is about it inside the box so let's have a look at the mouse itself so what makes this really unique is obviously we've got the nano receiver here which you can just sort of place on the back this plugs into a uh, available usb port on your computer allows the mouse to communicate with it nice small bit here which protrudes only a tiny bit outside the back or of your computer or the side of your laptop which is why i opted for this as well and it just lives on the back there when not in use and then you've got the little compartment under here where you put the batteries you can see here two double uh, triple a batteries in there and it's a nice compact mouse very very nice indeed but what makes this really unique is the way you can mold it to your hand watch this look click it sort of clicks as it goes round, and when it's in this position it's actually switched on when you click it round into here it goes into sort of a power save mode like so and it really has a nice contour to it and a nice feel left and right mouse buttons very nice indeed very responsive and then this area here is touch sensitive so you can do your scrolling without actually moving a wheel very nice indeed the materials used glossy material on this top portion and then this is sort of a rubberized material here now i was sure when i used this earlier i got it to actually work in this sort of position but it's not meant to, it's meant to click all the way round. Now that's a bit of a shame, that's one of the negatives I found with this. It would have been nice if you'd have had maybe two or three different positions you could place it in, so that you could have different amounts of arc on the device. Maybe they do that with a future one. Pricing on this is really good, £30 in the UK, $40 in the US. My experience so far has been really good with it. I like the responsiveness of the buttons, they just got just the right amount of travel. The build quality on it seems very nice indeed. I love this touch sensitive area here where you can do your scrolling, etc. Really nice. Driver support, not that great on the Mac at all, but I bought this for the Dell Inspiron 14Z and it works perfectly with that computer. Really nice and comfortable, nice and light. And as I say, when you're traveling, folds down flat, pop the little nano, nano receiver or tiny little receiver on the base there and it's all packed down into a nice portable package. Look how thin that is for transporting around in your laptop bag. Really nice mouse. This is the Arc Touch Mouse from Microsoft. Around about £30 in the UK, $40 in the US. Just a really nice mouse. I'm surprised. I don't praise Microsoft very often or often enough, but they've done a good job with this mouse thank you very much for watching please do give this video a thumbs up please do subscribe and i will see you all in the next one